Now, we will talk about volume envelopes. Uh, this part, again, uh, if you don't know basics of sound design, I know I've said it like six times, guys, uh, but speak as one who had to go through this process and it didn't stick in his head until you heard it for like the 10th or 12th time. Don't know the basics, attack, decay, sustain, release, all those envelopes would highly, highly suggest you picking up resources I've listed down below because I'm really only going to get a quick overview what this does in context of sampler and this is nowhere near comprehensive enough in order to really click it in at least for me I mean if you're just a genius I hear it once and you're just like yeah get it this is great you don't have to get any of those resources but for the rest of you you may want to check this out all right so the volume envelope this will allow you to do let's ramp up to start from the bottom go all the way to the highest point of the envelope this being controlled by the attack so this is how quickly it's going up how long it will hold at the highest point. This is how long it will be hold. Uh, once it's hit the maximum amount of time that you've held at the whole part, this part will start to decaying down to the sustain part that you set with this parameter. This tells the uh, envelope what volume the sound will sit at until you release the key. And then once you release the key, the release knob will tell you how quickly the sound will fade out once you let go of the key. So in context, we'll hear the attack. I'll just I'll hit the button and then I'll yell at you guys what we hear. So right now we're listening to the attack. Attack, hold, decay. The sustain is what we're hearing and then when I release it, release. The delay, oh that's the decay. The delay tells the the envelope how quickly once I hit the key till the sound starts. So I'm hitting the key now. Now it starts. Now if I start here, when I hit the key, it'll start right away. Boom, just like that. Tension knobs um, just allow you more micro control of how, what maybe different shapes of ramping up and down uh, for the case, sustain, release, what have you. So that's what all those knobs do. Again, you can quickly mess around with those. The LFO is the exact same as the panning, except in this case, if you mess around with it, you get what's called, if you guys are familiar with more musical terms, you get what's called. Uh, Crap, I'm forgetting what it's called. Mm. Uh, quick, gotcha. What was volume when a singer? Tremolo. There you go. You get what's called tremolo. And tremolo sounds like this for you guys who are not familiar with it. Actually, we'll turn off envelope. Where the volume goes up and down. So if you hear a singer, oh, you know, the, the volume shakes up and down. Uh, that's called tremolo. And you can make a more and give it a, a different sound. Uh, by messing around with the LFO, low frequency oscillator of volume. So if we want to do that, it's all the same knobs. So if we do global, we do speed, so you can really hear it. We do amount. I find for these sort of things, when you get down to volume, mod X and everything, uh, if you do it just a little bit, it just gives it enough of an interesting touch to make it different. But if you, I mean, you can do extreme if you want, but I just find when I messing around with the LFOs, it's a very small amount. So again, uh, you can do tempo bass, so you can have it vibrating along at the beat, so it's a little bit more musical. And again, our good old friend Global, love this part, so we're going to do a slower speed because it's the only way you can really hear it. If I hit another key. You hear them revving up and down at different times. And then if we do Global, they both rev up and down at the same rate. So that's the volume part. Now we'll get over to talking about Mod X, or, or it should be called, and I don't know why they're calling this, the filter box.